Jumped on by everything. It comes in the name of, of God cannot be a prophet after John. So that's that, that's why Jesus is not a prophet. Jesus is the Word made flesh. He is God's own Word become human. He lessened himself. But Jesus is not a prophet. No. He hasn't prophesied. He has prophesied, but he is not a prophet. A he is God. So, all right, so my counter argument before, I, I'm, I know I'm interrupting, but when God reveals to a prophet, God is not a prophet, but they're God's words coming through the prophet. Well, but Christ is the, the originator of God's words. Just by the terminology. Okay, so we'll go by the terminology by that, of last. By that, God. Okay, but last means last. But we digress. We start yeah. with so Yes. What I was trying so to say. Is it good or bad? If God is let's say we're making some statements to go with that. Like a thought experiment. Let's say that God revealed to him that it was a blessing. Now, on that assumption, people reject God's communication. And it becomes apparent now that they're not going to accept any further question. Like I've dropped them saying Christians and probably not in the Torah. You may need to speak up a little bit. Okay. I asked him to film. Yeah. So, so what I would say to that is on those assumptions, um, I would suggest that a true prophet and the best example to mankind would be able to hear clearly God's communication without Jibreel. That's my first point. My second... No, 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 that's my, that is my first point. So yeah, if, and, if, and you're saying that if, it's, if the communication is clearly from God and the people disagree, then they can take that with God. Is my like following? Okay. No. Um, the Christians talking about here with the Messiah, the God of the Messiah, they're not like Jesus. It's, 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 it's a different Christian. It's unimportant. That if they follow Isa, that's a different matter. Stop talking, is it? No. So the Jesus yeah. was for these people. Not for you. Right. So when was it abrogated? Yeah. I'm asking you for evidence because no, I haven't heard it before. Yeah. So the Messiah of the time, yeah. who believed differently than you, for yeah. example, they held Jesus as equal to Allah. That equal? Is yeah. that, yeah, so do God, I. Sorry. That's not different. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You hold him equal to God, not Allah. I'm talking about God. <laughs> why would a Christian... Hey, if you're going to jump in, oh, is Allah God to us? No. Then why did you just say we hold the same Because you're talking about a Christian the sect. The Nasara used to term Allah. Yeah, they didn't use is that their language? <laughs> okay. Do you know much about the Nasara of the Is that their language? Are they speaking in Arabic? If you answer my question, then we'll ascertain if I know anything. Do you know much about the Nasara? Is this going to answer my question? Do you personally believe jizya to be a good thing or a bad thing? Again, so, the Nusara were not Christians of today. And they decided that they were not going to accept any communication from God. Because they yeah, said which any Christian would. And they decided, based on the assumption, this is an assumption, that Muhammad was bringing the truth to God. Then, if God has said to the man, uh, tell these people, like you said, I did, I did them, uh, I assume military, and then tell them to pay the just that would safeguard them from any further action. But that is an action, that's two actions that are ongoing. Well, it's warfare. It is warfare, and then. Right, so do you believe that to be a good or a bad thing? You haven't answered me. For today? Yes, because as you say, if the Nassar are not the Christians of today, neither are the Muslims of Iran or Saudi Arabia the Muslims of the 7th century. So my point, my point is this, as Christians, I don't know much about the Nassar, but if they believe Jesus to be their redeemer and they have a copy of the New Testament and they see that Luke says that John is the last prophet and then another supposed prophet or false prophet, as he must be if you go by the Bible, comes along and gives a different completely different readings. God has not got Alzheimer's. God does not say you cannot divorce Bath for uh, sexual immorality and then go on to write to lack. It, 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 it's not feasible for somebody who's like scripturally versed Christianity wise to then, ex or, or even Judaism, to then accept that God 
changes his name, uh, tells everybody that he deceived the world six or seven hundred years ago. He created Christianity, Allah, in his own mind because he put a, a, a doppelganger on the cross. Like so, I don't. Have to, so, so regardless, I can stand firm and say that jizya or any subduing of any people for an ideological viewpoint, whether or not God is right or wrong in respect of Allah making that decree, I can say it's morally wrong. And therefore, can I say I've got better morals than Allah? That is a bit unfair. In what way? What you said about this fiction. Yeah. If um, he did do that. If some gang wants to kill someone. Yeah. And I, like you put it, get a top of anger and put it in the place of that guy. Yeah. Why is that an evil act? I'm saving I, I'll, I'll let you know why. Because if the blood of Christ does not wash away my sins, if the prophecies of the crucifixion and resurrection are not so, if Allah revealed the Torah, the Psalms and the Injil and they were lies and yet he is God, I don't want to believe in that God. I don't want to believe a God that lets the whole of mankind labour under an illusion for 600 or so years and then comes along and says they may plot but I am the best of plots. God apparently lets many things happen. People are it's raped, killed, Yes they tortured. are. What has that got to no, do with... No, that argument makes no sense. Now, I want Which to argument? What you just said. You are implied. If God comes along and says so I'm still... Way, well way. no, but I don't think you understood my argument okay. then because it's not unfair. Okay, okay. If God now tells I me said, he lied, I, I don't want to worship that God. Yep. God puts doppelganger somewhere. Yeah. Whose life are we saving? You're, you're the saying, one that God said you, to be a sacrifice, and prophesied and from from Deuteronomy. You're, you're linking that. But you're talking as Hold if on. it's a man on the street. You're linking that to a conspiracy. No, to I'm linking it to a lie. No conspiracy, conspiracy it's a lie. Thank you. One thing. No, Allah links it to that, not me. You don't have to go as far as riches. But Allah says it. You don't have to go as far as that. Today, people do little things. They yeah, what's that got to do with God's morality? And they get that to confuse the people. Yes, what has that to do with God's morality? Um, listen, listen. I said to you a simple thing. I'm listening. To save the prophet. Yeah. God done that. Yeah. Are you saying his intent behind doing that was that to mislead the Christians? I'm saying God would not do that, and these are the reasons. We are. That it, these are the reasons. In the New, Test in the New Testament, Jesus tells me, I laid down my life and I can take it up. In the New Testament also, we are told that he was raised by the Spirit. In the New Testament also, we are told that he was raised by the Father. In that respect, there's the Godhead right there. That God who does not lie, they, these are the salient points, he does not lie, he will therefore not give any new gospel or revelation, because he tells us in Revelation, this is the final, this is your last lot, here you go, this is from Jesus Christ himself, from the Father, through John. It, that talks about the end times, false prophets, false gospels. And anyone who comes along after, Yai, after John, other than Christ, with any revelation, and also to, to a deception, a lie, it's not a conspiracy. Allah says, I deceived them. For a surety, they slew him not. Like, so it's it's not my God. To deceive someone for the greater good is acceptable. Sorry? To deceive someone for the greater good is an acceptable thing. No, God's, God's morality is absolute. We're not machines. We're not here to kill the But we are not God time. either. God's Human morality. Human beings learned a long time ago that yeah. some truths cause more harm than good. No, but this is God we're talking about. We're talking about God. I don't think you're quite getting that. So I said it again. Yeah. I asked you again. Yeah. That if some gangsters yeah. decide to kill a man, yeah. Let's let's. I know you find it offensive, but it's Jesus. But let's move that aside. Let's say we're talking hypothetically about someone else. Some gangsters want to kill someone. Else. Yeah. Yeah. I make a scheme, and the only way they're going to leave him is if they think he's dead. So I make a scheme. Convince those gangs that this guy is dead. Now this is my deception to them. So the gangsters well, yeah, they come, every week, they every think they've killed him. Okay, so now they will leave him alone because he's dead, as far yep. as they're concerned. Okay, I've got an answer for this. Now this is my deception to them. Yep. Yeah. It is, in a way, the lesser of the evil. Now, yeah. not really, no. Yeah. Because I have saved his life. This yeah. is my purpose. By deception. And we're told that Satan is the father By of all lies. lies. Yeah. By deception, I have saved yep. his life. Yeah, but his life was his to give away no, and no, his no, no, to no, take no, back no, no. again. Hypothetically, I'm, I'm going to remain with Jesus because he no, no. is the truth. Hypothetically. 
You can hypothetical all you want. I'm talking about Allah and Christ. Yep. Not bad Jesus. So I've saved the gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Now somebody makes a religion based upon my deception. This thing. Right. Yeah. Even though it already existed for six hundred years prior. Jesus. But yeah. Hypothetical. Somebody makes a religion based on my deception. Yeah. Yeah. You're holding me accountable. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm not listening. Uh, do you know what? I drifted off. I'm not joking. Like, Allah lied. He said he lied. In the Bible, Satan is the father of all lies. I'm also told that the final prophet is John. I'm told to beware of false Christ. Isa gives false miracles and he's made a liar by Allah who calls him pure in Surah 19. He says, he says, blessed is the day I am born. Blessed is the day I die. Blessed is the day I am raised to life again. So there's the resurrection and the crucifixion. Everything is right in that statement. But Allah now, at the behest, I would suggest, of Muhammad, who was quite changeable and abrogated things and went backwards and forwards, to now try to eradicate the religion of his uh, uncle-in-law of um, various Christians and Jews who were in, well, Messianic Jews, who he came across. I believe that when he was weak, he said to you, your religion and to me, mine. When he was more powerful, he said, humiliate them until they feel themselves subdued and pay the jizya. Hold on, fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day. Um, it, it is prescribed to you for fight, to fight, even though you may not know what's best for you. I, Allah, know what's best for you, and you will fight until the end, until there is no other religion but Islam. And so I, for simplified. one, disagree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah, but it's a simplified sort of conspiratorial viewpoint. It's not conspiratorial. I don't know you're if you taking, think that sort of buzzword taking, like gives you an argument. You're taking Do you think jizya is right or wrong, morally? You have an answer. The one getting out of this conversation at yep. the moment yeah, is you just giving a moment. Now, if you don't meet me, I'm If you don't answer listening. the question. Yeah, which I was doing. I haven't and got to a yes or no yet. So I was telling you, if the religion is from God, and if the prophet is from God, and the people reject God. I reject those, those premises. I don't believe that. So why would it be fair for you to charge me a jizya when I don't believe in the God that you say revealed this verse? Do you get a choice here who you pay tax to? Um, yes, you do. It depends how much you earn. It depends what job you, you have. Yes, you question, do. Okay, That's the question, answer. The question, okay. Yep. Do you get a choice? Who you pay Could the you taxes stop to? coming away from your religion and stick with your own religion? Don't give me the example of a government. There's, there's no yes, you. Yes, you can choose but, what tax you pay. GCI Bye now. GCI Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. That's the model they use. Okay, quick wrap up, okay. okay, so as who, who I, I know that I'm not too good at remaining quiet when people are waffling, but as we can see, he couldn't answer whether Jizya was good or bad. I'm going for bad. Um, protection money, bullying, gangsterism, none of them are pro like prescribed in uh, scripture. Nothing. We're told to love our enemies and our friends as ourselves. Pray for those who curse you. Uh, bless those who despitefully use you. I may have just butchered that, but that's the gist of it. Because God is love, and within this new year, I, I hope that Speaker's Corner comes together to oppose those scriptures that um, go against mankind, that go against our fellow man. And if people keep bringing, bringing it back to the examples of society, and what if it was a random bloke on the street? It wasn't. It was my God, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for me and for you, even if you don't know it yet. So I pray that the Holy Spirit would touch your heart, and the word of God would not fall onto deaf ears. And um, God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Uh, I will say that it's, it's about to work. Don't take away everything from your community. Yeah. Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. The purpose of, of this understanding this, uh, is that if you come to understand, you'll follow it, or you are just arguing for the sake of argument. What I'm, what I'm suggesting to you is that you need to reflect about whether... Uh, I reflect every day five times. When I, when I, when I stand for prayer, when I stand for salah, I reflect. I reflect. I reflect. I reflect. You need to reflect on whether what you believe about this land is actually true. Alhamdulillah. Perfect. That's what you need to reflect. Perfect. Perfect. And that's the point you make. There is nothing which because it has been uh, proven, it has been uh, the, the, the 1400 or 1500 years time has proven it is a perfect, the most perfect religion. Well, no, the, book, the book is there and no, the, book is, it, it the book has been 